quick as a flash, the stonefish gets a snack. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down what sound like the coolest new metal band names, but is actually a list of unsettling creatures scientists have discovered in the dark ocean depths. It lowers the bottom jaw, and then the whole mechanism shoots forward and manages to spear whatever prey it's after. Number 10, Vampire Squid. Vampire squid are typically observed at depths with very low levels of oxygen, also known as oxygen minimum zones. Most other animals become stressed or die in the extreme oxygen conditions found in these regions. Vampirotuthus infernalis dwells in the shadowy ocean depths. It's actually neither a true squid nor a vampire, but shares characteristics with both squids and octopuses. This cephalopod boasts a dark velvety mantle and large globular eyes that shine red or blue depending on the light. Its eight arms are connected by a webbed cloak, adorned with bioluminescent photophores that can emit light to confuse predators or lure prey. In fact, there's spots at the end of its mantle. A bite there would leave the head unscathed. Unique among deep-sea dwellers, it feeds primarily on marine snow, organic debris falling from upper waters, making it a detritivore. The vampire squid's ability to thrive in such inhospitable environments highlights its remarkable evolutionary adaptations. It has a unique ability to react when it is startled. It can curl its web and arms around the rest of its body, turning sort of inside out. Number 9. Blob Sculpin they look very sad when they're on the, on the surface. Yeah. Cycroludes frictus is a notably peculiar fish found in the depths along the U.S. west coast. With its gelatinous, blob-like appearance, it bears a striking resemblance to the alien entity in the horror movie The Blob. What happened? It's all over. What do you mean it's all over? Hey, What's the matter? This fish's unique morphology allows it to withstand the immense pressure of the deep sea. Its diet likely consists of small invertebrates found on the ocean floor, captured through a method of indiscriminate trawling that often brings it into contact with commercial fishing operations that target species like crabs. The blob sculpin's unusual form makes it particularly interesting for researchers studying the adaptations of organisms to extreme conditions. This is such an amazing view of them, too. Here's the front view. Number eight, sea pigs. Cool. Oh, it's swimming friends. away. It's putting on quite a show. Yeah. yeah, it really is. Belonging to the genus Scotoplanes, sea pigs are a unique type of sea cucumber. These creatures are characterized by their plump, pinkish appearance and several leg-like appendages that facilitate movement across the ocean floor. They are commonly found in large groups, sometimes numbering in the hundreds, as they scavenge for organic particles in the deep sea mud. They play a crucial role in the ecosystem by recycling nutrients and supporting the abyssal food web. Despite their cool name, sea pigs are invertebrates and have little in common with terrestrial pigs, aside from their somewhat rounded body shape. Number 7. Goblin Shark It has the ability to distend its jaw way out in front of its body, and then snap it back to catch food. Mitsukarina austeni is a rare species of deep sea shark with a distinctive and somewhat eerie appearance. This shark is immediately recognizable by its protruding snout, which is much longer than those of other shark species, and its jaw, which can extend and retract when capturing prey. There are pores in this snout, and behind each of those pores is a little ampule, it's called. These are the ampule of Lorenzini and they can detect electricity. The goblin shark's coloration is a pale, ghostly pink, adding to its otherworldly appearance. Typically found at depths greater than 3,000 feet, the goblin shark's habitat is far removed from human activity, contributing to its mystique and the relative lack of encounters with this elusive creature. Its diet likely consists of deep-sea fish and cephalopods, which it snags using that unique jaw mechanism. Goblin shark? More like goblin shark, right? An ancient weapon that works even today. Number 6. Proboscis Worm uh, This guy is actually a predatory animal. They attack by using a proboscis at the, um, in the mouth, which they can shoot. This wacky worm, scientifically named Parbalasia corrugatus, is a large and predatory species of ribbon worm found in the cold, deep-sea environments. These worms can reach lengths of up to 6 feet, making them one of the more sizable and unsettling inhabitants of the ocean floor. The proboscis worm is decidedly striking with its elongated body and, duh, proboscis. 
a unique feeding appendage that it uses to capture and consume a wide variety of prey, from small invertebrates to decaying matter on the sea floor. This worm's scavenging behavior is crucial for nutrient recycling within the ecosystem. Remarkably adaptable, proboscis worms are known for their resilience in the face of the deep sea's harsh conditions, including low temperatures and high pressures. So they only have very simple eyes at one end, uh, and have very simple mouth parts. Number 5. Zombie Worms we know now that there are at least 17 species of Osidax that exist in the world. You wanted more worms, you got more worms. Osidax roseus are a particularly fascinating species of organism that chow down in a very useful way, by feeding on the bones of dead whales. These are certainly not your garden variety earthworms. These lack a mouth, gut, and anus, and instead rely on a unique method of nutrition. It has this root structure, which it actually bores into the bone, and the roots are filled with some kind of bacteria. They secrete an acid that dissolves the bone, allowing them to access the nutrients within. Mmm, delicious. Symbiotic bacteria living inside the worms then help digest the fat from the whale bones, providing nourishment. The discovery of zombie worms has provided many valuable insights into the decomposition of large marine vertebrates and the complex food webs of the ocean. From 2004 until 2008, the scientists sunk five dead whales into the canyon to learn more about these worms. Number 4. Stonefish Its warty, bumpy skin is nearly indistinguishable from the sand and coral surrounding it. It's an amazing adaptation. Sinansia varicosa is recognized as the most venomous fish in the world, a title that underscores its danger to both its prey and unwary humans. And it's sneaky, too. It possesses the ability to camouflage itself perfectly among rocks and coral reefs due to its mottled stone-like appearance. It's equipped with 13 venomous spines along its dorsal surface, which can inject a potent venom capable of causing severe pain and, in extreme cases, death to humans within a few hours if not treated. Each one is basically a hypodermic, and uh, just a little way back from the point is the, uh, that's where the venom is. Stonefish are primarily found in the shallow tropical marine waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Their ability to blend into their surroundings not only serves as a defense mechanism, but also aids in ambushing prey. Their true weapon is speed. High-speed cameras are needed to properly see their attacks. Number 3. Sloan's Viperfish Chaliotis sloani is yet another deep-sea predator known for its fearsome appearance and remarkable hunting strategy. This fish is characterized by its metallic blue or silver color, elongated body, and large mouth equipped with fang-like teeth that are disproportionately large compared to its size. Sloan's viperfish typically grows to less than a foot in length, but its teeth can be more than half the size of its head, enabling it to impale and secure its prey effectively. Teeth are so large that they do not fit inside the mouth and instead pass outside the head, close to the eyes. Found in the twilight zone of the ocean, it uses bioluminescence to attract prey in the dark waters. The light organs, or photophores, along its body can also serve as camouflage, breaking up its outline from below. Number 2. Giant Isopods They're thought to be found worldwide and are a really, really great example of deep-sea gigantism. Bathynomus giganteus kind of resembles oversized versions of the more familiar terrestrial isopods, such as pill bugs. These creatures can grow to lengths of up to 14 inches, making them one of the largest isopods in existence. They inhabit the cold, dark depths of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, where they lead a predominantly scavenging lifestyle. Their diet mainly consists of dead fish, squid, and whales, but they're also capable of preying on slow-moving or sedentary animals. The giant isopod's robust, segmented exoskeleton offers protection against the extreme pressure of the deep-sea environment, while its compound eyes are adapted to the low-light conditions. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 frilled shark. Here in the middle layer of the ocean, slithers one of the shark world's most unusual species. 
Chlamydosilacus sanguineus may sound like something you don't want to hear as a diagnosis, but is actually a quite enigmatic creature. It's often described as a living fossil due to its primitive features that are somewhat reminiscent of sharks from the time of the dinosaurs. This elongated eel-like species is characterized by its serpentine body fringed with gills and a mouth filled with 300 trident-shaped teeth arranged in 25 rows. Its unique dentition is perfectly adapted for snaring soft-bodied prey like squid and fish, rarely seen. It inhabits the depths of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, usually below 3,500 feet. The frilly shark's reproductive habits are also unusual, with long gestation periods that can last up to two years, one of the longest known among vertebrates. Row after row of razor-sharp hooked teeth. 25 rows, 300 teeth. Which of these deep sea discoveries do you find the most amazing? Let us know in the comments. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.